so welcome students welcome once again to the web classes of english grammar in the previous lecture we understood about simple present tense today what we are going to learn is how we are going to apply the simple present tense in daily routine sentences right what is the structure of simple present tense we need to understand that as well so first of all we need to understand the grammar structure for all types of sentences like affirmative negative and interrogative first of all we will understand about in for affirmative so in the affirmative sentence you will find subject first then a verb and then a complement complement what does that mean complement means an object okay so if i am writing a sentence here like she plays cricket what does that mean there is she which is a subject verb is plays right an object is cricket so what is uh, the sentence is doing it, it is connecting the subject to the object right here the complex and between subject and object is a verb that defines the tense right that defines what that defines tense so next we will move to negative sentence in the negative sentence you will find first a subject then an auxiliary verb like do or does then a negation that means not then a verb then a complement see what is the difference between affirmative sentence and a negative sentence here you can find e es s access i e s right this kind of words are added to the verb but in the negative sentence you do not need to uh, sorry you do not need to add anything in the verb why because you are using auxiliary verb as do or does and we know that with do or does the auxiliary verb is not use e or es or ies with the verbs right so next we will move to interrogative sentence in the interrogative sentence we will use auxiliary verb first do or does right then the subject then the verb then the object that means complement and the interrogation sign right the question mark <clears throat> okay and you need to understand again that with do or does we do not use s or es with the verb so here it is not written moving further if you see if we are uh, like making question with the uh, with wh center or wh words uh, you can see that with wh word we always use do or does right and we need to understand when do we use do with i v u and they what do we use we use do as a as an auxiliary verb sorry right and with uh, where, where do we use does with singular uh, singular nouns like she he it and any other singular name right so here it is written some examples do on saturday morning what do you do on saturday morning what does she do on weekdays right the next when do you go to school when does he play so here are a few examples of the uh, interrogative sentences that we can make through a uh, simple grammar structure of simple present tense i hope you have understood this uh, 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 the simple present tense truly Uh, here are some examples as well right for the affirmative sentence i have breakfast in a restaurant she does exercise we go to school on weekdays he plays soccer on wednesday here we can also make negative sentences like she do not like cricket he do not like cricket i do not play cricket right there are many sentences that you guys can make so that the, that was all about the uh, simple present tense uh, thank you so much stay safe stay home for today Thank you.